Hey guys, Pat Shank here. Here's a video explaining how rainbows prove there's a dome. Rainbows need two reflectors in order to appear. While science will try to tell you that raindrops are their own second reflector, that's a lie. To prove this, you can easily recreate a rainbow outside using only a garden hose and sunlight, but indoors this won't work. Indoors you'll need a mirror or second reflector. Outside the dome is the second reflector. If you don't believe me, you can go indoors with a flashlight and spray bottle and you'll see no rainbow. Get in where you fit in. This is not our decision. We go in and then we kill it. Better get in position. Listen, this is not a drill. This the real thing. Rainbow is here. Whoa. This a real team. Six skater protocol. How are we supposed to fall? Blow the doors, run inside. Clear the corners, hold the wall. Cover me, I'm going in. Look around and go right. Nation is depending on us. Put aside your own life. We've got to save them one by one. You gotta put aside your own life. Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to another episode of Chumpak IQ where we teach you simple science experiments that you can try at home. Now depending on where you live, it's either raining or it's not, but irrespective of that, the best part about the rain is the rainbow. But because it's kind of rare, you're not going to be able to see much of it, but I'm going to teach you how to make it at home so you can see it whenever you want. So what are we going to need for this? Well, we're going to need some water, a bowl, a mirror and a phone. Well, really the tiny LED that's on the back of this phone. So let's get started. So we start off with a little bit of water in our bowl. Now the idea is to fill up it fill it up almost to the top, but leave just a little bit and I'll explain why. All right, so we have enough water. Now we take our mirror. Now because mine's an L-shaped mirror, I'm not going to bother taping it down, but I would recommend that you do if you don't have an L-shaped mirror, place it at an angle in the water. Now half the mirror should be under water because this is where the magic happens. So now, when I take my torch and shine it into the half of the mirror that's under water, and on this card that I placed here you get the rainbow how cool is that now of course when debunking science expect to see some deceptions there's a video circulating on YouTube which seemingly demonstrates a rainbow being reproduced indoors now as we've already seen rainbows require a second reflector in the case of this video the second reflector is the giant puddle and metal plate on the ground the hard part is getting the angle right because it has to be a 40 degree angle and the light's not high enough to get it inside. But there it is, we can see the whole thing. Notice how he says the angle is the hard part. Notice how he has to put the light source as high as possible pointing down on the puddle. And I've got it up at a high location as high as I can get inside my, my shop. Some people will claim that they've seen rainbows in the grocery aisle in the vegetable section. Now while that may be true, they always have mirrors. Always. Think about it, folks. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.